Hey guys, Big J here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, round one's over, and it's time to look at how the team went. This week I scored 2,001 points. Wasn't the best, but definitely wasn't the worst that I've seen, and there's some changes to be made. With Danger filled out, and a few of the rookies performing poorly, or probably not going to have their space anymore, they're going to get kicked out of the sides, we're here to make some changes. So, look at the team. Easy. So in the back line, the premiums did really well. Um, Clark showed off why he's in the side. He should be locked in, hopefully. I know Geelong's got a couple of players to come back like Duncan, but hopefully Clark's not kicked out and he can continue his scoring. And then I had Highmore there on the on the field with a 60. So you can't complain about that with the rookie. Um, the midfield did quite well. McRae, Merritt, Laird all tunned up. I'm a bit worried about Cripps. He looked a bit lost on the field. Some say he got tagged or he did really well but just couldn't convert. So we'll see how that goes. He's a hold for me. Um, Dom Tyson right there. He's a bit of an injury worry. He's going to get kicked out of my side straight after this. We're gonna, actually going to do the changes right now. Um, but looking at him on the North game in the weekend, it's just a big no. I don't know what happened in the Amy series game, but Tyson last week was just a big no-no. So he's out of the side. The Rucks are a bit, bit of a worry. Um, I think they'll bounce back, but we'll see what happens. So I don't think I'm going to be one of those crazy people that trades out Gorn and Grundy this week and bring in a 100k player and then have a million dollars on the bench and then two weeks later have to bring them back in. Because we had that with Naismith and that didn't work out very well for us. So Flynn did quite well as well. So he's actually going to be a really good cash cow, I reckon. Um, Dangerfield's also out of the side this week. Three weeks is two weeks is too long to hold. I reckon. Um, we'll see how that goes. So, right now, and then Dunkley Zebel did quite well. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Impey and Dow, but week one jitters, so they're holding on my side. We'll see how we go. Um, and then obviously Rowe did really well. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to trade out Dangerfield and Tyson. And what I think I'm going to do is I'll swing Fife to the midfield and we're going to bring in uh, Hayden Young this week. His position seems to be pretty filled, so I'm happy with how he's going. Um, I might bring his brother in next week, just depending on how the north back line goes as well. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But then I'm also going to bring in Dustin Martin this week. Crazy, crazy, crazy ownership not to own him. And he just, it was just on fire last week against Carlton. You know, one of those plays that when you don't have him, you wish you did, and then you just pull your hair out. And guys, I don't have a lot of hair, so I can't do that much more. So Dusty's coming in and complete the trades. So good luck, everybody. Um, I really wouldn't be making too many corrective trades this week, only if players like Rao or Danger are in your side and you've got to get rid of them. So try and save your trades as much as you can. I know my score's not fantastic, but it's a long slog. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. What you get in round one isn't what you're going to be getting in at the end of the season. And you want to try and save your trades as much as you can. So what we're going to end up doing is, I've got a lot of the playing rookies at the moment. So we'll hold on them, see how they go, and then go from there. So hope you guys had a great day. Have a nice day, guys. Hope your round one was fantastic. Let me know in the comments how you went, and have a nice day. Bye.